Hey there, welcome to Yoga with Brad, the space where I do my best to help you thrive both on and off your mat. Today, I'm going to go through five different exercises that you can do to build a stronger core, a healthy, functional core, not that hunchback style of core that you see some people have, a healthy core. Now, you can do them all together as a mini workout or individually if that works better for you. But when you're ready, we're going to get started. And the first one we're going to go through is called Superman's. Coming down onto the belly when you're ready. Getting long through the legs and sending the arms forward. We're reaching through the fingertips. Now your exhale is going to be here. Everything's just resting down on the ground. As you inhale, you're going to lift the legs, reach through the toes, as well as lift the arms. Lengthen through the head and exhale, lower yourself back down. Inhale up and exhale lower. We're going to try and do three more. On this last one, hold when you come up, reach through those fingers, reach through the toes, lift up a little bit higher if you can, three, two, one, and slowly lower yourself back down. Now you can do a couple sets of that, or just do one set of five holding on the last one. The next one we're going to do is plank. Now you can do this one up on the hands, or come down to the elbows if you need to. As you do this one, you want to try and drive through the heels and lengthen through the top of the head. Try not to dump the belly down towards the ground. Pull the belly button towards the spine, keeping that spine nice and neutral. Choosing the hands or down on the elbow. Plug the shoulder blades into the back. Focus down on the ground and aim for about 30 seconds with this one. Three more breaths. And slowly make your way over onto your back. The third one we're going to do is bicycle crunches. Now for this one, you're going to take the hands loosely, bring them together behind the head lifting the legs up now as you exhale reach one leg out we can do the right leg first bring the left knee in rotate the torso trying to bring the elbow towards the knee this is your exhale inhale and exhale over to the other side continuing with your breath exhales crunching inhales into center now as you do this try and focus on more of a rotation through the spine then a crunching motion even though i said bring the elbow towards the knee it's more important that you rotate through your midsection and keep your breath flowing and continuing if you can for five four Three, two, one, and rest for a sec. Next one, number four, is a recline twist. You can do the arms nice and lengthen, or you can bend to 90 degrees, rest them down on the ground. Now the legs are going to come up, draw them together, squeeze them in, try and bring the calves parallel with the floor. This is your inhale. As you exhale, Take the legs over to the right, nice and close to the ground, but keep them off the ground. Inhale up, and exhale, take the knees over to the left. Continuing with your breath, inhales at center, exhales coming over onto the side. Now, if you need to make it more difficult, you can always extend through the legs a little bit more. And as always, move with your breath, taking your time and drive the arms into the ground, help you with it. Finishing this one off and one more full round going each way.
all the way back to center. You can bring the knees into the chest, squeeze them in a little bit if you need to, and take them back down onto the mat. Now we're gonna get nice and long through the legs, reach long through the arms. This time we're on our back though. This last one is called V-ups, or at least that's what I call it. When you're ready, on the exhale, you're gonna lift the legs up, reach the hands towards the feet. Inhale, get long, come all the way down. Try and keep the feet and the hands off the ground and exhale up. Continuing with your breath. Aim for eight to 12 reps if you can. Resting if you need to. and slowly come down to rest. Now, you can go through that a few times if you need to, if you need a little bit more of a workout, but doing it one time will work for you as well, and you can just build your way up from there. I hope that you found this video helpful and it helps you develop a strong, healthy core. If you found it helpful, please make sure to like, subscribe, hit the notification button, and toss a comment down below letting me know what you found most helpful. I'll see you next time. Take it easy.